Hi, my name is Guy Fredrickson. Today is Monday, June 6th, 2022. This is another video about the transmission off of my 1957 Martinac 24 foot cabin cruiser. And like I've explained in previous videos, it's not the original engine. This is a 1959, 1960 flagship V8, a 283 small block Chevy in the flywheel forward configuration. So this is the planetary gear assembly that came off the uh, transmission that was on the boat when I purchased it. It's a Paragon HF2. So it's one of the early hydraulic transmissions from Paragon. So the way these work, there's a sprocket comes off the back of the engine attached to the crankshaft that fits in here and engages with these planetary gears. That sprocket looks like this. So here's the gears. So there's two halves to this assembly. The forward half has the planetary gear assembly and the back half has clutch plates. So right now, this shaft can rotate independently of the housing. So in this configuration, the uh, crankshaft connected here as the engine is idling, this housing will spin with the engine and no torque will be driven to the prop shaft. So that would be neutral. So on this hydraulic assembly, there's a mechanism that can apply hydraulic pressure to this region and that engages the clutch plates that make this shaft and housing spin as one so that would be forward configuration. And if you relieve that pressure and you clamp the housing, keep it stationary, then that's the reverse. The planetary gears reverse the direction of rotation and would give you the reverse configuration. So what's inside here? Here are the two halves of the housing and they thread apart on these fine threads here. So in this piece, there's this aluminum plate and there's an O-ring that would go on the outside diameter and an O-ring that would go on the outside diameter of this portion. And those fit together. And then this spring assembly fits in here and it's held down in position by this split washer. So as you apply the hydraulic pressure through these ports on the inside, what it does is it moves that thrust plate forward just a little bit. So what that does is it compresses these clutch plates. So you alternate between a bronze plate and a steel plate then another bronze plate, and a steel plate, and so on. And you can see that these steel plates have these cogs on the inside diameter, and these engage with this sprocket. So when this pushes forward, it clamps all these clutch plates together, and they press against this part of the housing. So it couples the shaft with the housing so they have to spin as one. So these two gears, so this bearing would go in between them here and then go in this part of the housing. Slide on these sprockets here. When it's all clamped together, they don't slide forward and backward, they just engage with this shaft. So this cog is on the clutch plate side 
of the housing. And this cog is on the planetary gear side of the housing. So here are the planetary gears. So in this transmission, it just has two sets of planetary gears and uh, this one here has three sets. So the way the planetary gear works, so you can see if you put two gears together and I rotate this one clockwise, then the one attached to it rotates counterclockwise. So if the sprocket off of the engine engages this gear, let's say the sprocket is rotating clockwise, then this gear will rotate counterclockwise, and this made it up to this gear, which will rotate clockwise, made it up to this gear attached to the shaft that will rotate counterclockwise. So that's how the planetary gear reverses the direction of rotation of the engine. So when you hold that housing, keep steady, keep it from rotating, um, it reverses the rotation of the engine. Let me see if I can find the plate that does that. So here's the call maybe a ring clutch assembly that goes over the planetary gear. So if this is relaxed, the planetary gear can spin. Then when you put pressure on this to squeeze it shut, it holds this stationary and that gives you your reverse gear. And then here's the roller bearing assembly that goes in the front. of the housing here. So that's this assembly here. Well, I hope that was interesting. It was for me. Learned a lot on this project. So now I'm ready to take this apart and see if there's anything wrong with it. Hey, as usual, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.